so i'll give you a little bit of uh, idea about the example okay that okay. i ask you to do okay and uh, the main logic in the apex and in the uh, javascript control that you have to take care okay i'll just give okay. you how it will appear and uh, what it should look like and uh, how the front end design how you can do okay and that idea okay. i'll give okay and then there is another example to update the address that we can do so that update address we can achieve using a quick action okay, okay. so let's say we have a, a contact related to an account okay and in the uh, contact we can create one uh, quick action button using which you can update the address something like update address will get so whenever you click on that it should update the address according to the account okay. okay because account is a parent and contact is the child right so um, so whatever address the account has that should be copied to the contact which is related to this particular account so if you go to the related list here related so we have one contact here so in this contact if you check this out uh, this contact let me see if we have any address in this contact so account is only picture so it has the same address okay mm -hmm. so, if, uh, so we should be updating that address using some quick action if it's not there and if it's already the same then we have to give the message something that it's already updated or it's already matching with the account address okay, okay. so that also we can achieve using a quick action okay actually the logic will be there inside the uh, component only but we'll call that component using quick action okay uh -huh. Okay, so let's take a look at the first example. So what the example was, or first uh, task that was assigned, that was, let me just show you. Okay, so you have to create two icons. Okay, take two SLDS icons. Okay, okay. put one SLDS icon here, put one SLDS icon here. Name this, uh, maybe, okay, let's say if we are uh, adding it in the, um, opportunity page okay let's say we have an opportunity page okay, okay. so if we add it inside the opportunity then there are two related uh, information or related uh, objects so one is account okay and one is contact so both of them are related to the opportunity okay, okay. so what you have to do is you have to create two uh, two icons to SLDS icons if you click on the ACC or if you click on the account icon it should display the list of all the accounts like this all the accounts which is related to this opportunity okay okay so there will be one account okay uh, that account you have to display here okay mm -hmm. and if you uh, click on this contact then this should disappear okay this box okay. this box should disappear and it should display you only the list of all the contact which is available okay, okay. which is related to this opportunity okay. okay so you can do this okay okay so how you can achieve that so you just have to use that hide and uh, uh, the display equals to none and display equals to block Okay. okay so you can use your own approach also okay it depends on okay. how you want to create okay so if you are able to achieve it using any of your approach then that is that is totally fine it's even better okay, okay. so that is how you have to do okay and then in this related we will replace this related uh, list whatever is related is showing we will replace this by the component that we have developed okay 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 so apart from that we can create one component which will be updating the address of the account uh, updating the address of the contacts depending on the account okay so that component okay. we'll develop it now okay, okay. okay. so we'll try okay. to achieve it now yes okay. so i'll show you that example now okay okay so let's say we try to create one new component okay so we go to file go to new and we create a new lightning component okay and we call it maybe update contact or update address in contact okay so and then we can we want to use it in the lightning connection as of now we will just uh, add 
we had to use it somewhere else. And then we'll click submit. Shrikant? Yes. Okay. Okay. So now that we have created a component, so our uh, has record ID is already there. Okay. Has record ID is already there. So that means this record ID of this particular contact will we will already get. Okay that contact if we okay. add to the contact page so we'll get the record id so we don't have to worry about the record id so we can access the record id using v dot record id so record id will be generated okay so now once we have got the record id we'll have to pass this particular record id to our javascript controller and then we have to pass that to our apex controller okay. and using okay. the apex okay. controller we have to uh, check out what is the address of our uh, contact and what is the address of the component uh, sorry uh, the account if it's not matching okay. then we have to match it okay. okay 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 so from here we have to call our uh, apex automatically and pass that there okay so whenever that is okay. clicked so on load of the page we have to do something so in that case we have to use one or a handler Okay, so our okay. handler name equals to we'll put in it and then we we put uh, it was action is it value yeah value 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 so in this value we will put as this okay so our handler is doing uh, so let's see if that handler is getting called or not. Okay, so and then we need one action also. Yes. So, so action will be the JavaScript controller which is getting called whenever this page is getting loaded. So we'll put some C dot. Uh, we have a controller here. We can go to controller and one method will be already created. One function. We'll just take this function. It's a C dot my action. Okay, or we can call it maybe do in it. Okay, we'll call it a do init function. Okay, okay. So we'll call it a do init function. So let's save it. So I'll just put one alert as of now to just make sure that this method is getting called whenever our page is loaded. Okay. Uh, say component loaded. Okay. I'll just give one simple alert to understand. Okay. So now here. That is fine, and let's see if we can access the record ID also. V dot uh, record ID, okay, and we'll save this. Okay, and then I go to contacts and I will update the page. I'll just edit the page here. And from the custom components I will add the update address okay. so that I will add somewhere in the page okay later we'll add it in a quick action as of now we'll just add it somewhere in the page okay so okay. we just add it somewhere here only. update address I'll just add it somewhere here okay Save it. Save it. Okay. okay, let's go back.
that component is not added yet. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so activation settings changed. Let's check it out if that is displayed now. Okay, so that means alert is getting uh, displayed. That means our method is getting called. Okay, so our JavaScript okay. method is called. Okay, and the component should be loaded. As of now, it should show us the record ID but it did not show anything here we dot record id because we missed out this expression that is why it did not display now let's just refresh it once okay so component loaded okay so it has not refreshed yet still the same okay let it load okay till that time what we can do is from our controller okay so we can go to our controller and from here we have to now establish a connection from our apex class okay so we have to create okay. one apex class now okay so we'll create one new apex class or we can use any existing class also okay let's say okay. what was the controller name Demo helper something else. Okay, okay, let's just check it out. So my custom controller, we had some demo helper something. Okay. This was our controller, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can use this controller itself. So we'll just create another method here. Okay. at or uh, enable okay and then we'll write another class public method static let's say this return type should be boolean or the return type should be hmm. yeah we can give it as boolean only if it's successful then we can give it as true or if it's not successful we can give it as false or we can okay. what we can do we can pass the message actually we can pass the message so let's say what it will do when you click on update address it checks whether the update address is matching or not okay if it's matching then we will pass the message automatically that this is already same so that message will pass using this return type okay uh, so uh, that also we can do or th that we can that message we can handle in the our component also whichever way you want to do okay okay Okay, so let's just check it out. We'll do boolean as of now. Okay, so public static boolean, and then we will uh, we'll do something like update address. Okay, and then here we will take one ID, which is our record ID. Okay, so okay. that record ID will commence it here. Okay, so I'll just give it something like rec ID. Okay, or what we can do is we can name it maybe contact ID. Okay. okay now once the contact ID we have received so we have to write one query so using the query we have to uh, first query the same record okay at the field of those records we have to uh, query and then we have to query the account which is related to that uh, particular contact so we have to query all the fields of that particular account also then we have to match that logic okay, okay. so then we have to match that logic so what we'll have to do is we have to write some queries here so I can just check it out in the query editor first okay and then we will update here 
so let's say what we have to do is we have to do select uh, some fields so those fields we can check it out from our object manager here so we go to setup and object manager from here you can find contact Let's check out the field and relationships. Okay, so we have field for billing address. Okay, so when we go to the billing address, here we should have something like billing say uh, billing state, billing city, all those things should be there inside. Okay, and in our uh, account, uh, sorry, in our contact, we have something called mailing, mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, all those things will be here. So we have mailing address. Okay. 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 So what we can do is now we can get back to our component and select, let's say, billing street, comma, billing city from a billing country from contact where id equals to we have to give some id okay in this query editor we cannot pass the id dynamically so what i'll do is i'll just take this particular particular id here okay of the contact so let's say we give this add uh, here and we try to execute this query. So billing street, billing street entity in the contact. Billing address in the contact. Oh, in the contact we have something called mailing. Mm, okay, so we have something called mailing. So I'll just remove all this, replace it with mailing, mailing. Okay, now let's try to execute this. Okay, so mailing city, mailing country, and uh, mailing street is displayed here okay so we have we are able to retrieve that from the contact so that we will put inside this query so here we'll select uh, the mailing and we'll put it inside a uh, contact object so we'll put one contact and let's say on equals to select and we'll compose the query and instead of putting the ID like this, we'll use bind variables. So I've uh, showed you the bind variable now. That is, yes. we yeah. can use the on ID that we are getting from our JavaScript controller, which in turn is coming from our uh, component. Okay, so the record ID we are getting. Okay, so that record ID is mailing street, mailing city, mailing country will be fetched and it will be displayed here. okay now once that is done now we need the related account information also okay so from here we can also fetch the account which is connected to this okay we can also fetch the account so instead uh, in, along with that we will also include one account field 
so if we go here let's say go to contact then we have one relationship with account also so that account is account id okay so we will fetch the account id also so we'll fetch account id let's see uh, instead of putting it there we'll check it out first in our query editors to see if it's working or not okay, if we try to execute this so it is showing us the account id okay 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 so we, we are able to fetch the account id also so now you we will put that account id here now using this account id we will retrieve the record okay so let's try to create one string okay uh, and we will put the acc id equals to we will put con dot account id okay so now account id is in this particular variable so now we will put another query let's say account acc equals to um, select um, billing street comma mailing uh, sorry not mailing uh, billing city comma billing country comma oops that's it from account okay where id equals to now we'll use our bind variable id equals to acc id okay so we will fetch all those records which is there in the acc id now we have to compare okay now we have got all the uh, information here now we have to compare those values okay okay so that condition we have to write here so i can give some comments here fetch the um, address in for uh -oh, information of of the contact or current page contact okay so we are fetching all the current page contact okay now here fetch the address information of the uh, account related to the current contact okay To the current contact okay okay and that we have uh, added inside this account record okay so that is sorted now we have to put the logic so here we'll put one let's say if condition okay inside this if condition we have to check if this mailing state all this is equal to or not if it's not equal to then we will uh, we'll try to co copy that okay if, if it's not equal to then we'll try to copy if it's equal to then we'll just display the message that it's already equal okay so how do you check that we just have to check one by one all the fields okay so we have to check something like uh, uh, you can put con dot mailing city yeah instead of keeping these three fields you can put it as a mailing address and billing address right? directly can we do that okay let me check mailing address yeah okay let's try to check it out if this is working okay so mailing address is an object but is not displaying here let's try in this way okay let's put the anonymous window i don't think you can do that directly okay, okay. So let's try to check it out let's see if it's working or not okay. so let's say if i give one query in um, it's a contact okay we give one contact con equals to um, we put one query select mailing 
address from contact and if we add one limit so then we want to access only one record let's limit one okay contact and we do one system dot debug uh, let's say we do on dot mailing address and let's see what happens okay so we execute the highlight part let's see what log we get okay we're going to debug only it is showing as null so maybe that uh, that is null okay so what i'll do is one second limit one uh, from contact where uh, mailing uh, address not equal to null okay so this should fetch some some information now we'll check it out now okay we'll execute this mm, using distance expressions address fields there are different different fields in the address so oh. uh, okay let's try to put some or instead of that we'll put where id equals to let's give that id what is that id that's this is a contact right yeah it's a contact yeah. okay. okay so we'll give that id here so some address is already there so that should not be a problem let's now check it out execute this part okay okay now we debug so in the address address is like an it's it's like a list only it's showing the list so city is there okay. country is there and then see individually these we have to compare right so let's say can we compare it like this uh, the way that you are saying so let's try to um, okay we'll give an account also acc equals to let's say select select and we'll give one billing uh, address from account um, where id equals to this i'll give one bind variable i'll give let's say con dot um, account id so here we'll have to include one account id also account id okay so mailing address account id where this is this okay this looks okay okay so we will give uh, system dot debug mm, we, this we can put inside one if condition if mm, let's say con dot mailing address equals to uh, acc dot billing address then we have to do one system dot debug okay so let's try to check this out and let's see what happens okay, execute this part so the code is fine it executed okay okay now if we do debug so it is not displaying anything that means it might not be it might not be equal mailing address equal to billing address mm, let's go to our records here so this is our contact mm, go to detail account will open account in another page here let's compare the address part okay so mg road bangalore india something like this Oops. this is the mailing address okay so mailing street equals to see these individual uh, things we were trying to access so mailing street mailing city mailing country and then we have our account also 
so here also we will go to the details tab and here we will check out the address mm, mg road bangalore we have some mg road bangalore india so this is same this is same but still it's not able to compare maybe it's because that is an object that could be one of the reasons so what we can do is dot we can use dot equals okay to compare the objects and let's check out if this works out so oops sorry not dot save i have to execute this so now let's try to execute this boolean system <coughs> address dot equals method is not visible okay we can just do google a little bit let's see compare account address with contact address in salesforce okay so we already have one approach we have all we have our approach so we are just trying to find let's see if we have some simpler thing or not so we can compare the individual fields also that is pretty straight straightforward we can just do mail, mailing street equals to billing street and mailing city equals to billing city we can uh, compare each fields independently like uh, separate separate but let's check out if they have any other better way so address compound okay. fields yeah So using Salesforce address field on account and contact, let's check out this one. Comparing old and new billing address, let's check out this one. Okay, and let's see. Hmm. So address is a compound field that you know, right? I mean that it's a compound. It has a combination of street and city and uh, pin code, and also it has something called country. Uh, country also. Okay, so all that is oh. inside the address field. Okay, so standard yeah. addresses, addresses built into standard objects and Salesforce are accessible with SOAP. No, no, we are not doing this. A structured compound data type as well as individual address elements. So we have individual address elements also, which are city, state, and uh, uh, country, and PIN. And we have a compound data type also, which is the address. Okay, now let's check it. Check out the address type extends location type. Okay, and the data type of the compound, the location, not, not interested in these things. Let's say we have state the address fields are provided. Uh, so on many standard objects, account, contact, port, blah, blah, blah. For multiple addresses, some of the provide fields are okay. For example, account provides. Uh, in this case, address field names, prefixes, billing, blah, 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 not required. Now retrieving the compound address field. So we can retrieve the, using the compound field, can simply simplify code that works with address especially sql query so we can do billing address we can retrieve the billing address from account okay to write that write code that's compatible with uh, the api version and the above was, did that work in our uh, system.debug was it able to get what is the address Yeah, it was showing so individually it was showing okay let's check out it was showing but can we compare it uh, I don't think so compare let's try another way okay as it's showing a list Okay, as it's showing a list, so okay. I'll try to add it in a list and let's see if it's you know, we are able to add it in a list. Okay, so we'll okay. create one list. In this, we'll create one, let's say, what will be the data type of the list? Let's say we try address. Okay, let's check out if we can able to do that. Equals to, we'll put con dot mailing address. Let's see if this works out. Mm, and now we'll do one system dot debug. Okay, and we can do here con or we can just do we give the name of the list let's say address or we can give con address 
Yeah, so this we will put here con address. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, legal assignment system dot address to list system dot address. Hmm. Okay, so it is not a list. So we can do address. Okay, now let's check this out. Execute highlighted part. So that's another data type which is address data type. Okay. Yeah, so that is another data type which is the address data type. Okay. Now let's try to get our contact our account address data type also. And let's see if we are able to achieve what we are trying to do. Now here we'll do ACC address equals to ACC dot uh, billing address okay so if we are able to do achieve both of them then we can compare them as well so we can compare let's say ACC uh, ADD address double equals to on address okay and now uh, if it double equals to then we'll display something like equals okay and we'll do one else part uh, system dot debug and we'll do not not equal Okay, now let's check this out. If this is going to work, we'll put one semicolon. Okay, execute the highlight part. Let's see if we get equal or if we get to or not equal. Debug. It's showing not equal. Something is wrong here. Probably it's not comparing it properly or. Uh, Mm, let's compare ourselves. Let's see what is there actually inside. So inside the con address, we'll do ACC address. So we'll get a log for our ACC address also. Now let's see. Deepak. Okay, see mailing city is the same, country is same, uh, and then this is same, same, null, 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 and the state is also same. But still it is not comparing. So, we try this dot equals. Let's check this out. System dot address. Hmm. So there must be a way. I'm pretty sure there must be a way. But let's check out what they are actually doing. Uh, dot address dot get street. So they are also doing something like get street only. See, they are also trying to retrieve the individual individual values like street and okay. Uh, okay using compound address fields as location this is something else this we don't want so by is 710 is it fine for you you have some call or something no i have actually i have a early meeting today in office so i have okay. cancelled carry or no? you can see tomorrow okay 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 we'll see tomorrow okay. Okay, so this so far you got now what we were trying to do. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we will continue from tomorrow. Ah, no the same thing will continue tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Sir.
Okay then. Okay. You have any questions? Share this video whenever you have time. Sure, sure. I'll, I have uploaded the yesterday's video as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Yesterday class is it? Yesterday class was it? No, not yesterday. Like the previous session. Day before. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got it. But that I practiced already. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. You're able to follow, right? Like everything is fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Whenever okay. I got doubt, I'm asking only. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. Okay then. Okay. Bye. Bye.